It is the 22nd of August. It's uh, 10.39. I'm at an undisclosed secret G14 classified location. Um, I dropped off my shingles. And now I... Oh, I'm in Decatur, Illinois. And, uh, yeah. It's been a good start of the week. Got up this morning. It's a Monday. I always like going to work on Monday versus Sunday. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see what we get next. Uh, the adventure begins right now. I, it didn't start earlier. The adventure actually starts, like, right, right now. Like, right now. I mean, probably not right now. Maybe in, like, 30 seconds the adventure will begin. We'll see. Whenever the uh, message shows up. I've got a uh, new number on my window. I put those numbers there. Uh, that's when my next uh, preventative maintenance is due because I just had a big one done and so I, I use that to always keep it in the forethought of my mind as I'm approaching not to mention my GPS has a reminder in, in about 23,000 miles it'll it'll constantly send me a hey you've reached 23 your mile marker that you wanted us to alert you of so this way I can uh, put in a message to schedule preventive maintenance. So that's about all that's going on for right now. Um, if you're, anybody's interested in uh, one free pallet, there it is right there. If anybody was looking for that one, that's like the one ring, that's the one pallet right there. And it's free. So I bet you can take that sign off of there and take it and it'd still be okay. So but I just can't tell you how to get here or where I'm at so but if you figure it out that's where the uh, free pallet is well, what time does it say 603 I'm in uh, near Chicago I guess it's kind of that's what I call not Chicago <laughs> I'm, my uh, destination is in Houston um, so it'll be a nice long trip um, See if I can zoom in here so you can see kind of where I'm at. Um, I have not, it's amazing to be this close. Um, even though I'm still a little bit, a little ways from Chicago itself. This is very country where I'm at right now. Marseille, um, Illinois. I'm at a, um, I'm going to have a load of steel tube going to Houston, Texas and uh, I ch just to compare the two that the route is virtually the same uh, but this one actually wants me to take uh, go that way to I-39 and then south um, one that's a longer route and two um, the highway 6 that runs right out here is close between here and Interstate 39 so Fortunately, my GPS is going uh, a little bit shorter route and uh, is actually having me go uh, that direction east and then south on a local uh, U.S. road or Illinois 170 to get back on <coughs> 55. I've uh, got my CB tuned to the channel these where we check it. We check in right here and uh, press a button like phone rings. We give them our information and they take our cell phone number and ask if we have a CB tuned to channel 5. And it happens many different ways. They either come walk up to us and say, hey, go to this door. Or they call us on the CB and say, hey, go to this door. We drive in, they load us. And I get to strap this thing down and get to cover it with tarps. So this, is a, this load doesn't deliver until the 24th. Um, I'll most likely be staying the night here. They have truck parking because uh, I'm I've only got two hours and 29 minutes left, and they still haven't loaded me. And uh, my appointment isn't until really uh, uh, eight o'clock, and it's six right now. So I mean, they could they could load me early, but just in case, you know, I'm planning that they're not going to load me early, and that they're going to load me at. Uh, closer to my uh, um, 
pickup time. But you never know. Um, so I'll keep myself busy in the back while listening to the CB. I'm, e I'm even taking chances right now making this video because they could call at any second. It's the shade. It's amazing how much the sun light from over there can create this tremendous contrast in the video until I turn it way into the shadow and then the and then it, it compensates for it. So it doesn't deliver. It's got an open appointment on Wednesday the 24th as well from 8 to th 8 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Um, so I will be passing by Little Rock. Sometimes I don't like to do that because last time I passed <laughs> Like one of the very few times I go drive right by the Maverick training facility in Little Rock, I, I got called in for a drug test. And the reason I don't like that is because it's a complete waste of my time. Because <laughs> I know I'm drug free. But, uh, so, but you get, yeah, I mean, they, they, they get, they do pay us, uh, for our time to accomplish that drug, random drug screening. I mean, am I going to get called in again? Who knows? It's just when you get uh, when it happens once, you get kind of you know shotgun shy. So we shall see. That's it for now. It's a uh, yeah, kind of an unproductive Monday again. Um, I think that's the. There's not a whole lot of, which is surprising. There's not a whole lot of. I guess manufacturing um, that Maverick deals with in the St. Louis area, even though there's a main artery, I-44, I-55, um, I-70, you know, cut right across St. Louis. So there's a lot of commercial traffic, but there's not necessarily, I wouldn't really call this the manufacturing capital or state uh, in, in this, uh, this country. It's always a... Uh, uh, farther north or farther south so it's one of the hazards of living where I do there's it's great usually to get home um, be, because I'm passing by my house in order to make a delivery or a pickup but sometimes when the deliveries and pickups are right in my hometown I have to be uh, you have to be uh, aware so you can plan your day effectively like if you're delivering in Granite City my advice is get up extra early deliver at around 7 so you're like first on the board to get a load this way you can get out of there otherwise you run the risk of uh, sitting around for a while in that particular area I noticed it's my my observation anyway that's it for now we'll see how this load goes and and what I can uh, I've, I've picked up here several times before. I'll go in a door, they'll load me. Uh, sometimes uh, it'll look really square, and other times it's like I'm bringing all different sizes of square tubing of different lengths that don't quite line up, so it looks kind of interesting when fully tarped. So we'll see. Well, it's, uh, I don't know if you can read that. It is. 10.06 Central Time. Um, I can't drive anywhere, but they got parking here, so. I am partially loaded. They've been working on me for quite a while. But I guess when you've got only one crane in one area, they've got to, I've got to wait for other trucks to get loaded. And at this particular location, I'm not sure. Sometimes it's right away, but other times, you know, like today... You know, I've been here for two hours and 20 minutes. No, I've been here longer than that. It's been about uh, six, four hours. So, I mean, I'll get up. Yeah, so, but I was planning on sleeping here anyway. And I've got all day tomorrow and an open appointment on Wednesday to drive a 1,000 miles. So that'll be easy piece of cake. Um... I was planning on getting up at 6, but uh, the later they take to load me, the later I'll be getting up in the morning because there's no reason for me to skip out on 8 hours of solid sleep uh, when all I'm doing is driving tomorrow into uh, towards Texas. So it'll be, a, it'll be a good day, I think, tomorrow. 
I just wanted to, uh, this is where this video is going to end. There's really not a whole lot happening today because I'm just, if you, uh, I've, they told me I could put on some straps right now, but they have a 24 foot section of steel tubing that uh, they're going to be putting on the back of my truck at some point. Uh, the truck next to me, um, nice guy. Uh, I had to wait for his uh, last piece to get loaded. So the guys that are loading my truck, which are not the same guys that are loading his truck, can load mine. And uh, here comes the crane right now. Hopefully it's got my pieces of steel on there. Let's take a look in the mirror. I see some steel hanging from it. I'm assuming they're coming to me because I'm the only truck in here, so good night. Uh, truck wash time before I settle in for the night. Um, I just met Rod in this USA truck. Nice guy. I guess he watches my videos. <laughs> and uh, I'm kind of awkward when it comes to that kind of situation. But anyway, if it'll focus, I would hate to demand too much for this phone. There we go. 639 miles today. And I've got uh, 36 minutes left on my clock. Of course, there's truck parking here. And there's also the, uh, right down that road, through there, is the North Little Rock Maverick uh, truck parking slash orientation and training facility and world headquarters. So I'll probably be staying there tonight. I need to get my truck washed this week. Uh, next week I don't go to work on Monday because I'm having some dental work done because that's thrilling. And uh, I look forward to that anyway. Getting a truck wash, and then, and it's uh, what, 5 30? I like uh, ending my day around 5 30. That's good. Um, sooner if possible, but I'll take the mileage. And uh, I'm still on my way to Houston, Texas. I still got another eight hours to go tomorrow. And uh, then uh, we'll see what we get out of Houston. Uh, to get me back north to go home so anyway that's it for now oh Ro this uh, gentleman that was in this uh, truck he spoke to me for a little bit super nice guy so if, if you're watching this rod <laughs> shout out um, which is a rare thing I never do um, it's been uh, driving for about four months now, and I guess me and three, two, a couple other uh, YouTubers that he watches um, are the reason he got into trucking. And, and my main question was, well, how are you liking it? And he's, he said he's uh, loving it. So that's awesome. If you can find, if you're, you're eager to get into this and you enjoy it, that's what it's all about. Um, but that's, it. like I say, I try to say as frequently as possible, truck driving is not for everybody. So that's it.